My name is Tom and I'm going to show you how to set up your Pro Tools session in Soundwell for a remote mix review with a director or a producer. How Soundwell works on a very basic level is that it sends audio from Pro Tools and then to synchronize a video it also sends timecode. First thing you'll need to do in Pro Tools is make sure your playback engine is set to Soundwell. That'll get the audio out of Pro Tools to Soundwell and through the internet to your client. You might want to check that whatever your main outputs are set to correlate in your I.O. with Soundwell 1 and 2. So those are all good to go. You could use an aggregate I.O. to use your hardware outputs in conjunction with Soundwell and set up a bus. I like to monitor through Soundwell so that I can hear exactly what's being streamed to the client. What I'll need to do to hear this, because if I hit play, I got nothing is I need to open up Soundwell here and it's going to immediately ask you, hey, what do you want to call this project? So let's call this Wolves. First thing pops up, set up your audio engine. So we need to set our sample rate to 48K. Buffer size is 256 input device. In this case, it's a Mo2 PCI424. That's to get the microphone that's going to my interface into Soundwell. And you'll also need to set your output device so you can hear the client on the other end and also monitor the playback through Soundwell if that's the way you want to run it. My device has eight channels, so I've got that set up and I've got two virtual input and virtual output channels. Down here in the stream section, I don't have any of these checked right now. If my network connection is not very good, I might want to turn on compression. If it's really bad, I'll turn on the network buffer, but this does give you a little bit more latency. So these are kind of like troubleshooting. If the connection's not good, you can turn these on. There's also the IO view. I like to just leave this as is so I can see and access all my outputs. I don't have anything in chat right now, but in sync, I need to make sure that my frame rate is set to the frame rate of the project. So that's 23976. So those all look good. I've got everything set up. I'm gonna hit apply. Yes, I'd like to save my settings. One thing I liked about Soundwell when I first started using it is it's set up like a mixer and a patch bay. So if you could just wrap your brain around plugging stuff in and routing stuff and turning things up and down, it's going to be very comfortable for you. Uh, first thing I'll do in Soundwell is set up my talkback. And the talkback is up here now. There's a little microphone. You can turn it on, turn it off. But first, I have to patch something into it. So I'm going to click the gear icon. And I'm going to say, let's take the first channel. And you can already see. Bam, it's right there. For the output, it's automatically set to the send. So this send here is what is going out to your client or whoever's receiving your audio stream. I like to leave the talk back up all the time and either use a foot pedal or a fader to just bring myself in and out so I can work in Pro Tools, not have to go back and forth. If you're in Soundwell, you can use T to toggle on the talk back and when you release it, it'll turn off. So it's a momentary switch, it's not a latch switch. So the send panel you can see is picking up my voice through the talkback channel, but I'm also gonna hook Pro Tools up to it. So I'm gonna go here on source for the send and do Pro Tools out one and Pro Tools out two. When I hit play in Pro Tools. By the 1930s, the wolf got it. Audio hookups from Pro Tools to Soundwell are done, but I still need to hook up the time code so that my time code goes along with the mix to the client to synchronize their video. To synchronize Pro Tools with Soundwell, I need to go to Setup, Peripherals, and start with Synchronization. The MTC generator port, meaning the MIDI time code out of Pro Tools, needs to be set to Soundwell Sync Input. So in the Synchronization tab, we're done. In the Machine Control tab, I need to enable the Soundwell Sync Input, ID 126. I like to have my pre-roll set to 24 frames. This is gonna allow Pro Tools to send start, stop, and all the other playback information to Soundwell. So after that, we're done. The final step is to tick the MTC button, turn that guy blue. So Pro Tools is now generating MIDI timecode. I'm gonna bring up the big counter just so it's a little easier to, to read the timecode. Back in Soundwell, all we have to do now is click the sync button and make sure we're sending it. To test that everything's locked together and working, I'm gonna go over one frame in Pro Tools and you can see the time code changes to where it's 117 right on the dot and I can do the same thing, go forward and back, it's all there. So we're all set up. 
Pro Tools is ready. I've got audio and time code going from Pro Tools into Sound Whale. Now I just have to set up the director side of this on a different machine. This is a uh, MacBook Pro. I'm gonna open Soundwell. Uh, let's call this Wolves Director. I'm gonna have to do a similar process. Set up the audio engine. Preference panel, same deal. This needs to be set the same on both sides, so it's 48K, 256. I'm just gonna use the built-in microphone and output for talkback because I wanna hear how it sounds on my laptop. So this is all set. Uh, IO view, same deal. Sync, we are 23976. Everything else looks great. All right, let me make this full screen. You cannot forget to sign in. I have to do a similar deal with my talkback. Make sure I'm getting talkback from the microphone there. That's all good. One other thing I need to do is import the video because while the mixer has the video on their local drive playing back in Pro Tools. I'm the director, I don't have Pro Tools. I have to bring the video into the timeline of Soundwell to get the video synchronized with the audio coming from the mixer. So I'm gonna go File, Import File. I'm gonna import the video. One thing that's great about the new version of Soundwell is when you import a video file, this box pops up and you can set the start position and frame rate. So right off the bat, I can set it to hour one hit apply, and it's gonna pop up. There's also a volume setting here, and because I'm gonna be receiving the mix from the mixer, I don't wanna hear the scratch audio that's on here. This can be useful if you're recording ADR, but for a mix review, make sure that's muted so you're not doubling up on the audio. So I'm gonna scroll over, and the video's right here, right at hour one where I put it. The last thing I need to do is turn on sync and make sure this is set to receive because I'm receiving from the mixer. And I can see he's online right there. See the little blue thing? So I should be getting a call from him shortly. I'm back on the mix computer here. Let's get rid of that guy. And now I just have to go to contacts, make a call. So I'm getting audio from the MacBook microphone. I'm also getting myself here because I've got two computers running right now. I usually verify this with the director by just nudging over a plane in the cursor somewhere in Pro Tools and just ask them, hey, read me the time code you've got. And I've got uh, hour one, second one, frame 19 in Pro Tools, Soundwell on the mix computer, and the same deal for Soundwell on the director computer. Another thing that's great to do with directors is just have them make the video full screen. Back in Pro Tools, it's the same deal as if the client was right behind me but we could be thousands of miles apart and still collaborate together after we're done mixing together and it's time to say goodbye then i just click the leave and the session's over so this is how i use Soundwell with pro tools to do sound effects reviews mix reviews with directors or producers or just people that I can't physically be in the same room with. It's really helped me connect with those people and get work done a lot faster than sending a link to a video, having them give me notes, and just sending a bunch of emails and notes back and forth. It's way more organic to work with a person in real time. If you wanna give this a shot, go to sandwell.com. There's a free trial. You can collaborate with anybody anywhere in the world that has an internet connection and either an iOS device or some kind of Mac computer. Yeah.